for the viewers. I'm rapping the knowledge. He believes suicides, bear crawls, bench presses in the newest J's. Because if the pen is shit and me conditioning, I'm doing two a days. I'm from Detroit where you can't trust nobody. Bitch, we the Goonie gang. You can't feel comfortable everywhere where you done actually seen niggas get blew away. I done seen niggas go the wrong way. On the what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to hit you and then fuck around and hit your hands in the head. He got laid a strength. I see nobody. I feel like. Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out the game. I'm Tom SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterfly. When you start rapping like Jury know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang. Salute to my guy Showtime SP. And everybody out there that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing, yo, before we even get started. I gotta say shout out to my man C Dot. You know what I'm saying? Battle League. They, they got a new battle league down there, Southern Elite Battle League. You know what I'm saying? Homie hit me with his battle. It was him versus a dude named Faisal the Beast. I'm gonna put the battle in the pinned comments. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can go over there when you got some time. Check out a battle, show some love. So salute to my man C Dot. You know what I'm saying? Everybody down there in the South. I got a lot of love in the South. But uh all around the country. And when I went, <laughs> I was watching a battle tonight. It's like 3 in the morning right now. I ain't even gonna hold you. So when this comes out and when y'all see it, I'm gonna be asleep. But I, 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 yo. Fonz versus Calico? I'm literally the best with this shit. Out of respect for the Midwest, I told him that the death would be quick. A tech on my hip. And then it go across Detroit like West 25th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bro, one round battle. I don't even do a lot of recaps on one round battles, you know what I'm saying? Um, but this one round battle right here, this joint is up there. Town to make him look average. East 1999. Nigga, bone. Growing up, that's the only thing I ever loved and knew about Cleveland. That's why I feel like it's crazy that I just finished preparing this battle for him yesterday evening. I wasn't even busy. I was just being lazy, knowing they wish he could defeat me. <laughs> But whatever battle you want to compare as one round of the year, but yo, this joint right here, when y'all, if you did not see this battle, when it drops, yo, this battle is gonna, it will probably do a million views. His hair out. Now he got y'all thinking he performing magic on these stages. Y'all just follow the act. He only made y'all call him a wizard because he wore locks. On a league that I don't even know how it's happened. I'm pretty sure this channel right here has more subscribers than whatever channel the battle is going on. I'm pretty sure. But that's not the thing. They put together a card. There was a lot of people that got opportunities on this card, you know what I'm saying? It was long. I seen people joking saying it's like 30 battles on the card, whatever the case may be. I did see Arsenal versus LL Cool G. Um, cool G wasn't really like hitting, hitting. I've seen him way better in other battles before. Arsenal definitely had a nice little bag tonight. In a one rounder, disrespectful, all in his grill, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was like barking on him. You, that chain on your neck, it's not a Cuban, it's a Dominican that ain't got his citizen papers. Yeah, yo, he was, Arsenal was, it, it's good to see Arsenal them little pockets that he can get in when he's motivated. I don't know what was in, what was on his mind today. I don't know if Kuji owed him some money or whatever, but he brought a clip for him. But as far as the Calico, man, uh, this recap is going to be some time. I got bars that I'm playing. I ain't write them all down, but I got Mac, the clips that I want y'all to hear. I'm playing. If ain't no kill vision, it'd be another nigga in the glove picking out a headstone. Oh. Yeah, bro! Oh. 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 It'd be another nigga in the glove picking out a headstone. Dead, bro! I needed a weapon arrived, the landlord. So even if nigga from the D.O. to rank, ain't no secret I'ma catch him in stride. Oh. 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 Judges in that tournament. Lucky I don't put my hands on you. Yeah. 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 It is what it is. I'm playing. But, uh, yo, Fonz and Cal, bro. Like, Cal comes into this battle, and you know the talk on the street. Y'all know the battle rap streets. Like, the internet is the streets. and Not like the physical streets. You know the internet streets, man. 
they, the talk is Cal versus Easy. Like, that's the battle that people want to see, or him versus um, Easy versus Clips. But a lot of people want to see Cal. And um, I'm going to make another blog about Cal and how I feel like he's one of the most dangerous right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and even with that Easy situation, like, he is a threat, like a realistic threat. And I'm going to break down why. But, yo. You 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 don't never know what you're gonna get, man. Like with Calico, because he's gonna fail. Look at the lead him. I'm taking all the risk. That's why the negotiation required a star missing. And I told him they had to give me heavy check and promote heavy press. We talk about the new Midwest. Like we just settled back. Nigga, Hitman is still thirty you today. This is heavy facts. Verb will still teach you the ropes because you ain't ready yet. And on my child, I feel like with an unbiased crowd. He'll lose the X. Don't make me lose the <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't make. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who the fuck told y'all y'all can approve a bet? You know, if if anything, he's gonna be consistent. You know what I'm saying? He may have his battles where, you know, he'll get into like it sounds like a mixtape bag because he's just rapping about. You know what I'm saying? I knew sandwiches before the sandwich bags was like I didn't even know sandwich bags was for sandwiches. I didn't even know uh fucking. Uh, baseball bats was for baseball. I ain't no ski mask was for skiing and shit. You know them shit that niggas be doing. So he can get into them bags sometimes, and you know what I'm saying he might mislead you a little bit as far as like the direction of your thought process when you reference in the battle. You know what I'm saying? Like you, he's like leading you. The rhymes are cool, but you're like, wait, wait, hold on. This nigga to rap for like two and a half minutes about all this other shit. This man, who's he rapping to? But it still be hitting because that's what he do. So um, Calico in this battle like. He had a definitive angle of what he was going to do. Like, he had a plan, an attack. He did not come into this battle to just freestyle some, I mean, not freestyle, but just rap about random shit, bricks and drips. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the Pistons was always better than the Cavs, nigga. You, act, you trash, nigga. Like, he wasn't going to never do that. You know what I'm saying? He came in there with an attack. He attacked certain parts. The real me when I walk in the post office and send these off packaged in mail. Niggas feel me when I talk. It's like I'm rapping in Braille. We living in a Of Fonz, whether he was talking about, um, you know, uh, grip straps, uh, you lost a hundred thousand dollar tournament. <laughs> Nigga, I ain't never did that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when he says, like when he mentions this, the way he says this shit, like he's really like, you know, uh, you keep complaining about me being a judge until you meet a judge. Like, nigga, like, like the bar, I don't got no, no notes in front of me. I'm, I'm telling you what I seen, my nigga. Yo, this nigga Cal in his round was very impressive, my nigga. He had a bone thugs and harmony scheme, my nigga. And come on, you know, it's, you know, it's Cleveland. It's a nigga in Cleveland. And mind you, Fonz had m m m m mad support. I think every nigga he knew was in that motherfucker. So he had wild support. But Cal was still dumping. So this nigga said, <laughs> he said, he said something about the bone thug shit. Bone town and make him look average. East 1999. Nigga bone. Growing up, that's the only thing I ever loved and knew about Cleveland. That's why I feel like it's crazy that I just finished preparing this battle for him yesterday evening. I wasn't even busy. I was just being lazy, knowing they wishing he could be. And then he, he he broke it down. He was like, I ain't even. He's like, they wouldn't even believe it. I ain't even write for an advance. I finished pinning for him this evening. He was like, I ain't even. He said, Yo, this nigga said, I didn't even. He said, I didn't, it's not like I didn't have the time. I was just being lazy. I could have been getting busy. They gonna wish that he beat me. Yo, this nigga, oh my God, son. This nigga, way he did that shit, I was being lazy. I could have been getting busy. They gonna wish that he beat Yo, this nigga, oh my God, son. Shit was fucking crazy. I know there's been Bone Dogs and Army for schemes before, but that shit was crazy. Then he kept going. Uh, he said, the street niggas tell. He said, uh, he said, you know, he said, yeah, he had the heavy press, the, 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 the fucking, uh, the, the, the album joint, it's like a, it looks like a brick, you know what I'm saying? And he said, I see me when I rap. He said, I feel me when I ship these packages off and get them in the mail. And niggas feel what I say. It's like I'm speaking in Braille. I was like, oh, nigga, cow, what? And what rap, why you, why you dropping that off? 
But don't drop that off. Then you got the same thing. This needed to be three. This is the reason what I said about the one rounder to begin with. It could be a it could go one or two ways. This shit could be really good, or it could be damn, should have been three rounds. And this one right here should have been three rounds. It should have been. Unbook it. Unfucking book it, man. That's what it, the L is for it not being three rounds. That's the only L I'm giving out there. Everything else is straight drop. So I'm mad. I'm like, oh man, this shit should have been three. But anyway, so Cal's like, he attacks him there. Then he attacks him about the Midwest shit. He starts talking about, yo, this nigga said, <laughs> unless you get a check, fool, he said, uh, he said, so when you say the Midwest, the new Midwest, I feel it's disrespectful. Like, he said, because Holla will 30 you right now. He said, you know, he said like something like, Holla will 30 you right now. He said, Verb will still treat you about the streets with the angles. And then he said, he said, you know, Verb will teach you about the streets with the angles. And he said, uh, then he then he had another line. After the, the, the Verb could show him the angles and treat him, he said, I, and I put that on my daughter. In an unbiased room, I feel like X could beat him. I said, oh, what? Nigga said it in an unbiased room. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So anyway, um, he said, unbiased room, I feel like X could beat him. He keeps going, yo. Like, his angles is crazy. This nigga's bombing the whole round. I'm like, yo, Cal really brought a clip to motherfucking Cleveland. Like, he he was, he rapped tonight. Um, Then... You know, he uh Fonz, like he comes out, he's dumping, he's dropping bombs, haymaker. Mm. Haymaker after haymaker. Like his shit's this nigga has some motherfucking punches tonight, man. You got to see, like, for real, what Fonz did, I mean, you know, you can sit there and marvel at the punching power and the and the lines that he drops and the haymakers that he does, but I think with this battle right here. We'll answer the question if Fonz can really hang with the, the, the top, top tiers. Like when they excel you and get you to them big names and shit. When you get out of that realm of the highest niggas you'll be battling. It's like a T-top. Or the highest nigga they'll give you right now is if they slip you in a vet, it'll be like, a, you know what I'm saying? Like a verb or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they ain't going to slip you in with like a vet. That's a, They can slip you in with a legend, but not a legend that's like at the top of the game right now. Like not the summer when verb battled uh salute to verb too not the summer when verb battled mook he couldn't get mook then there's no way like he wouldn't get verb after that like nobody was getting him for a quick that that whole murder mook lux run these new these niggas down here was not getting him. you know what i'm saying so as shit went up and down you know it kind of evens itself out but that's another topic so Fonz, <laughs> he don't he's not playing no games like he's not playing no fucking games this nigga said he told him, like, uh, he said, he said, he said, you talking about how your camp ride? He said, uh, you, you over here screaming landslide when I can have some niggas from the landslide. I said, ooh, ooh, ooh what? Yo, he's Fonz is just dumping, man. Like, the nigga, it don't matter who a bitch with. Everybody get hit. I was down in the truck block with a fifth grade watching Kyle and Miles. Like a bit, bit. It's been lit. In order to get out of the shit, the wizard gonna need more than a fucking trick, trick. And you know them haymakers that he got. Them shits is coming back to back to back. When I was literally pushing weight with a bitch in a 357. Oh. Why you flexing? I allowed you to get bread with me. That was crazy. It's the cat. I allowed you to get bread with me. I'm not bread. Act like you finna put your hands on me. And the next time they see Kyle, I'll be on the shirt when they give his man a tea. You can't stand with me. See, Kyle? You can't stand with me. Back to back. So, you know, um, Fonz definitely had, you know, niggas just... <laughs> it was definitely with the gas, you know what I'm saying? Not no gas like to bad bars. Like it like I don't like like when I when people consider gas and shit like that, I'm looking at it at a fact like if the bar is not good and niggas is trying to make it good, you know what I'm saying? Like doing extra shit. It wasn't that. It was just the shit that he was saying that was fire, super fire. They made it out of this world. 
and the shit that was good, they made it the next level. You know what I'm saying? Like everything was leveled up, but he was still dumping. So I don't take nothing away from either MC because when a nigga's dumping and they, they, they going crazy like that, I gotta give it up. You know what I'm saying? He was like, uh, she's like, you get hit with a tree. His buffs get not clean at all. He said, uh, Cal Barker be in your face like Maxine Shaw. Oh, no. oh, what? Fuck around. Fuck around and let a Mac ring go. Or beat a nigga with a stick. So I can literally some shit up off a tree. The buffs get slapped clean off. Mm. Kyle Barker be in your face like Maxine Shaw. Mm. They said, oh. 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 Yeah, I fuck with nigga. How the fuck I remember that? Oh, nigga, I ain't got no notes. I swear to God. So, um, he's just dumping like line after line after line. He said, Kyle Barker be in your face like Maxine Shaw. Like, this nigga didn't have to do all of this. Like, Fonz, I mean, Fonz did have to do all of this because he's got Danny coming up. Now, the Danny conversation, it really, tonight really changed my perspective of the Danny battle. And Danny was watching the battle with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't with me, but we were watching it. So, and we were, we were talking, like, during, you know what I'm saying? Like, and they, yeah, yeah, he Danny knows. Fonz, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? This ain't like no this ain't like me dropping a low. He knows he seen the battle. You better know he seen it. I promise you. He seen that motherfucker real time. And you know his mind is not like mine. So imagine the shit that he remembered from your shit if I'm remembering this much. So I mean, like I said, for Fonz, man, this is such an important he saved to me some of his best material of his career tournaments included he saved it for this battle right here it was his big moment i'm literally the best with this shit. out of respect for the midwest i told him that the death would be quick attack on my hip and then it go across detroit like west 25th yeah. <laughs> This will be this will be Fonz's first. I think it it could do a million easily. I really do. It'll at least do five hundred thousand. This will be Fonz's biggest viewed battle. Him versus Calico out of everything. His this battle with Cal will probably do more views than the rest of his career that they've put out. I mean, you know the app Lives Matter. That shit, you know, man. Niggas put you in the, the library. Once I stop paying, they stop playing. I'm not even gonna see my niggas no more if I don't pay that eight. I ain't seeing niggas no more. How I'ma see them? Maybe a nigga shoot me a little booty, a little bootleg, you know what I'm saying? But they gonna clip that too. But if you ain't paying seven, eight dollars a month, you ain't about to see your niggas. They gonna tuck your niggas in, man. They not getting out. I'm sorry, bro. That motherfucking app lives matter. So anyway, um, so Fonz is straight dumping. Like, I mean, here's this niggas. I'm like, he's showing that he can hang with with legends. Like Calico's a fucking legend, bro. Not no, oh, he's a he's a good battle rapper that, you know, a well-respected battle rapper. There's a lot of niggas that's well-respected. Like, you know, niggas, niggas respect Swave to the utmost. Niggas respect Ice to the utmost. Niggas respect a lot of battle rappers to the utmost. But that legend, legend status, nigga, that's Cal, bro. That is motherfucking Calico. I'm sorry. Like, he's on the motherfucking, he could easily be on the Mount Rushmore battle rap. Easily. If not, the next four under that. You can't go past 10 without Calico in legendary status? Bro, I ain't trying to hear it. You know, you're not passing Cal with that legendary status. He's just way too accomplished, and he can still do it at a high level. So for Fonz, even at home, I get it. You're going to battle a nigga at home, and you a legend. You're going to see motherfucking gym teacher there. Nigga, the janitor from school is going to be there. Your nigga that work at fucking... Uh, What's the, what's the shit? The, the, the nigga that work at City Trends gonna be in there, nigga. Everybody, whole city coming out, nigga. Fucking you versus Cal, my nigga. You crazy? You, it's got, it was gonna be like that. You better, I don't wanna hear shit. Bro, I don't wanna hear shit about no motherfucking gas. I don't wanna hear nothing about none of that shit. Because, nigga, what did you think was gonna happen? Nigga, you in the nigga backyard. Fuck you mean, nigga. My auntie, my uncle, everybody coming up here, nigga. 
Niggas that like you, niggas that don't like you. Your ops, everybody's coming out, nigga. Fucking callous in town. Ain't shit to do in Cleveland on no fucking Saturday, nigga. <laughs> nah, it is, man. It's a lot of shit in Cleveland. Shout out to Cleveland, man. Like, I like love Midwest, too, man. I fuck with Cleveland, man. So, let's not do that. <laughs> Yo, them niggas is, 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 is watching that shit, man. But the event, not gonna hold you, bro. That shit was too fucking long. I did not expect to start watching an event on a Saturday and that bitch end on Sunday, my nigga. And it is now 3.20 in the morning, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I put that work in so you can get that work out, you know what I'm saying? So, let's make it work out, all right? Work. Out. So um yeah, the nigga, the nigga, the nigga Fonz is dumping man like very very good material. You know what I'm saying? Like, boy, boy, boy. I mean, I could play some bars and shit. And then uh, I, I mean, if you add, if you want me to give you like a winner or some shit like that, oh yeah, let's do that. The niggas want me to give you like a winner. I don't got no fucking winner, man, bro. It's a that was a fire one round, man. It, I could, it's a preference battle because I could definitively argue why I feel like Fonz won and I could definitively argue why I feel like Cal won. And, and to get what I got was great for on both sides. It makes me feel like, damn, maybe in the future this could be a three rounder. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need, we need two, three, we, we might need three more of these. This is 1-1 one, one after the first game. I know, you know, it's impossible to see, but it's hot as it can be. That shit went like that. Them niggas both got off. Cal got off. What? He got off. Okay, you niggas think I'm poor. You niggas. And if he brings three of these rounds, I mean, obviously, ain't gonna be as long. But if he brings the material that he brought in these rounds, he's gonna be a monster. And Danny Myers. <laughs> yeah, I should have made your blog. I should have made this blog after the fucking battle. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I ain't gonna go back. I ain't changing nothing. But uh. Salute to Calico, salute to Fonz, um, great battle, uh, you know what I'm saying, salute the rap committee, you know what I'm saying, they did their thing, you know what I'm saying, the shit was fire, I ain't gonna hold you, I, I mean, some of the battles was definitely good, you know, there was some technical difficulties with, you know what I'm saying, the stream might have, I, my stream was lagging a little bit, but, so, but people that I was speaking to, their stream was doing the same, so, you know, as, as you continue to grow, I'm sure, you know what I'm saying, shit's gonna be, but when it comes out, it's gonna come out, they film, I'm sure they filmed it regularly, so when it comes out, Nobody really um, be complaining, but uh, salute to y'all, you know what I'm saying? You already know what it is, man. If you like what you saw, subscribe to the channel. Stay in tune with all the latest updates. Follow me on IG, you know who I be. I'm going to bed. I'm the wizard because he's wore locks. This full pop, they're going to be asking which doctor he at. Okay, no. okay, me and Memphis with your rep, right? Meach was locked in with black. Your pops has been on a few missions. He even had you on the set of the show while I was getting filmed. I say, dude, listen. That nigga Smurf from Canton, Ohio. How the fuck he get a role in the show and you didn't? <laughs> and I, I, I didn't DM that nigga 50 so fast like you tripping. <laughs> I mean, Ice Cube son played Ice Cube when the niggas made NWA. Right. Lil Meach played Big Meach. He made his daddy got paid. So when they was cutting checks for BMF, I said, I know they sent him one calico way. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga couldn't play his daddy because his daddy got played. Oh. 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 Oh.